All right, Genshin enjoyers, we got new drip marketing 5.0 trailers. We got a lot of comments, people spamming. <laughs> Wuthering Waves could never, HSR could never. Are we getting a free Chi Chi? Let's check it out. We've Not arrived one. at the final phase. The winner of this match will take the final spot among the victors. I did just completely love the whole like festival tournament, you know, style setup that we saw in the previous drip marketing for Natland. This is looking so fun. Give it up for a long time contender and first time finalist. Hmm? From this point forward, everything we know about the real world no longer applies. <gasps> Anything can happen. No here. way! There's something in the depths of this place that feels familiar. Who's speaking right now? Is this supposed to be the Natlan Archon? I'm not sure. It also foreign. The pilgrimage is not merely a trial to determine the strongest among us. Among but us! But also a stage upon which to showcase your individual growth. The okay. purpose of the pilgrimage is not only to select strong warriors, but also to collect contending fire from the battles. Now. So we're seeing like the different events, I guess. Huh? So is Genshin figuring out a way to incorporate their mini games that they show in events into an actual fucking story quest? This is what's going on. That land is only safe from the invasion of the abyss while the sacred flame burns eternal. Important lore. Important lore. Natlan is only safe from invasion of the abyss while the sacred flame burns eternal. But someone's gonna take the sacred flame down, right? Burns eternal. My God, is that Silver Wolf from HSR? Chills, brother, chills. Um, is this the five-star character? I think we saw him in the uh, previous trailer as well. His whole video game aesthetic is pretty cool. New mobs, all right, new style, okay. Guess I'll have to wait until the next pilgrimage. Why, you didn't make it in, kid? I'm still not sure why our Wyob chose me of all people. Wyob. It took the combined efforts of the then Pyro Archon and heroes from every tribe to finally repel the Abyss. Even so, the You think that we could kill these things? <laughs> like, random fucking boars running around in the map? That would be messed up, dude. The effects of the invasion lingered for hundreds of years, only able to be reversed little by little. Our current Archon achieved an overwhelming victory. The result was obvious from the beginning. Okay, so the current Pyro Archon achieved an overwhelming victory. Back in the day when we got, you know, invaded, right? The effect of the invasion is still lingering, and there's gonna be some shit wrong with our Natlan place. But right now, the sacred flame roars because we have the current Pyro Archon. Beginning. I, I really want to win this time and become a true warrior. All right. But through our long history of fighting the Abyss, we've realized things aren't quite so More simple. Pokemon. The Abyss has invaded the Night Kingdom <gasps> and has the capacity to read the memories of this land at any given moment. No, the Night Kingdom! What the fuck is that? How did they invade it? Mint. Going there. The Night Kingdom? Only those who triumph over the Abyss earn the right to be revived. Defeat revived. not only means death, but also the destruction of your ancient name. Ancient name! Preventing it from ever being inherited again. Is he talking to us? I, I, I don't know who's talking and is he talking to Traveler or not? Is this like super important lore regarding the Traveler? Preventing it from ever being inherited again. You heard something from here, didn't you? What I hear. Kineech, what is the meaning of this? Only one way to awaken you all from your willful blindness. More sacrifices <laughs> must be made. I'm You'll down. Die if you try to make your way forward. Why don't you just give up? You want to know why I won't give up? All right, here, here's some more. Okay, I wonder how annoying these monsters are going to be. I'm actually kind of excited to see if they're going to be like super important mobs and like abyss and shit. Why I won't give up. I should have died five years ago. Take me as your next sacrifice. Archon. Natlan is on the verge of destruction. It's very possible our nation has less than a year before total devastation. Less than a year. Oh no. We better go save him, bro. But I swear to God, if I save your goddamn continent and you don't have news, you don't have any clues to where my sister is, we are about to get scammed again. Bro, how many times is it gonna take us? Mondstadt, Liyue, 
fucking uh, uh, Inazuma, Sumeru, Fontaine. And now we're in Natland, the sixth iteration. And are we gonna get scammed again? Here before total devastation. Once your ancient name disappears, there's no coming back. Ancient name. Some really important, I guess, characters for our story quest, uh, Archon quest, quest line, right? I, I, this is the girl I think that we saw in the uh, in initial Teviat trailers, right? Tra trailers, right? Where she like jumps in with like a fire with her fists. No! Why can't I find him? Why? Every great display of power comes at a price. <laughs> I'm about to say something that might piss a lot of you guys off. You know what I'm most excited about Natlan? Or rather, any time Genshin has a new release of a continent, it's not necessarily the content in the game itself, but more of the video game soundtrack. Yu Peng Chen, bro, the composer for this game is on another level, and every time Genshin the soundtrack, new continent drop, oh, that gets me more excited. We'll never make it! Is the tragedy of your short lives. You understand nothing. Where's Capitano at? We shall unite the tribes and save Natland from its impending doom. Where's Capitano, bro? What use is the Gnosis in your hands? <gasps> Here we go! Yeah! I don't know what you mean. But it sounds like this is about more than the Tsaritsa. Your plan. I'm always way more excited about the villains than the good people. I'm sorry. Like, Arlequina was so cool, bro. Yeah, fun. You know, Furina, fucking, you know, Nouvelle, they're cool. But, like, I'm always more excited about who the villains are going to be. Like, the antagonists, bro. Capitano is showing up this time. Impasse. And now it falls to me to create new rules for... Wait! He creates a blade out of cryo. What? Okay, okay, so he's gonna be probably cryo element then, confirmed. And now it falls to me to create new rules for Nala. People like us, let our blade do the talking! Damn, bro. Hype! Like, if there's gonna be any units that most people are gonna be saving up for, it's gonna be always again an Archon. Plus a harbinger that shows up in each major region, right? So this time we get the Pyro Archon, and they're keeping her name a secret, right? It's like an ancient name and a modern name, but then we have El Capitano here as well. I mean, in Inazuma, they didn't release, you know. <laughs> La Signora Banner for plot related reasons. So I hope Capitano wins here actually in this clash so that Capitano can be pulled as a banner. But there it is. Flowers resplendent of the sun scorched sojourn. I don't even listen. I don't even know what the fuck these words even mean, but it sounds really cool. And Genshin's looking pretty good on the upturn, huh? Right? Because the recent patch. I know a lot of people are still, you know, very angry against the impact because the uh, the rewards are. Let's get real. Yes, it's a free five star unit, but like, do you really care about getting another fucking gene, getting a Chi Chi, getting a fucking you know a Mona? Like, if you don't have that character because you got unlucky forever, then for sure, Dea looks a little bit more promising now. But like. I don't think the rewards are really as good as people are saying it is compared to the other games. But hey, it's still progress regardless, and I'm glad that it's going that direction. Natland trailer is looking amazing, but oh boy, I wonder how many people gonna get fucking upset with the lack of melanin in this one. I'll see you guys on the next one.